This project for me started in 2012 when I came to Myanmar for the Wall Street Journal's magazine. I came to Yangon, I went to Bagan, and I went to Inlay Lake. But it was Yangon that captivated me, and I knew that I had to come back. There was this moment in time that is only now, and then it's going to be gone. These beautiful old buildings, some of them are decaying, some of them were bombed in the Second World War. Almost all of them have not been maintained for the past 40 years. And it's beautiful. What I recognized when I'd come to Yangong was that this was a place in flux. And it was a place that was totally unique in Southeast Asia and Asia generally. You have this country that's been shut off for decades and decades, opening up now. But the sort of heritage architecture here was just unbelievable. I had to think about how I wanted to capture the images. I wanted to use a 4x5 view camera because it gave me a lot of movements. I can straighten out lines, I can shift the camera around a little bit. Coming back subsequently on two more trips, we added something to the mix, which was an 8x10 view camera. The benefit is that when you're setting up the 8x10, it's almost like you put an easel in front of you. So you've got this beautiful easel, and then you're, you're almost directing the scene in terms of what you want to be in, what you want to be out, and it's, frankly, it's beautiful. It's such a different way of experiencing a photo and a scene. We had an experience where it was a Sunday morning, maybe at 7 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, something like this. And, we, and again, we you know, kind of going up through this building and saying hello to people. And we're invited into this one family's home. The father kind of lets us in. And everyone else is sleeping. They're sleeping under the mosquito nets and things like that. I mean, we're setting up large format cameras. It's not sort of, you know, click. I mean, 4x5 and 8x10 cameras. And it's an imposition, except it's not experienced. I think, as an imposition. It's just outrageous how kind the people are, how open the people are, how welcoming the people are. This sort of access is unbelievable. We photograph in KBZ Bank. At the bank, I mean, we're taking photos of people counting money, like stacks of money, like Scrooge McDuck style, mountains of money on desks. All of this money is visual shorthand for the change that is happening in Burma generally. This won't be there in five years, maybe less than that. It's an arresting image where you just go, what's going on here? And it takes you a second to register what it is you're seeing. The other interesting part about this is the trust that is implicit in this photo. And that's a pretty beautiful thing in Burma. There's a trust. There's this trust that you are just given access to all of this that in other parts of the world would never happen. That's a beautiful thing.